Happy Monday, everybody, for, for those of you who are joining us, because <laughs> some people might be sleeping in. We didn't get a lot of people texting in this morning like usual. Uh -oh. and yeah, I but we usually get a lot of, you know, engagement with yeah. folks during the show, <laughs> and it was like crickets out there. Why would anybody sleep in today? What yeah, happened? Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> you, you just stayed out. Did you I even did. go to sleep? I, I mean, what I did is in, in the last part of the last, when in the overtime period, I was kind of half awake, half asleep. Yeah. TV on. Yeah. Okay. All right. That was why the last of that. Well, <laughs> evidently, data from the Workforce Institute shows that last year, get this, guys, a record 18.8 .8 million employees missed work after the Chiefs took home the win. Who admits all this? How did they find <laughs> this? That's what I'm saying. I know. Another yeah. 7.8 million started their workday late. Mm -hmm. The data found that two in five people believe the Monday after the Super Bowl should be a national holiday. Do Every you think Monday, so? regardless, should be a holiday. Uh -huh. should be part of the weekend. Yeah, we've been exactly. asking them more. Do you think yes. it should be a holiday? Do you think maybe the Super Bowl should just be on Saturday? Super Bowl Saturday That'll instead? Never happen, yeah. Ever. Yeah, so, that would be nice. That would be nice. The networks in the NFL, I don't yeah. think, will go for that. Um, but we are talking about the performances, too. So please chime in. Did you have a favorite moment of the Super Bowl, a few familiar faces taking the stage. Uh, take a look. These are some photos. Um, Charlotte's Saint to Trap Choir took a break from America's Got Talent to perform at the Super Bowl. They sang with singer Audra Day. They were singing behind her at the big game. Uh, the group is now preparing for the final round on AGT after receiving the golden buzzer. Of course, you can catch the group's performance in the finals at 8 p.m. tonight on WCNC Charlotte. I didn't even realize that they were going to be doing this or that that was them when I, I was watching that. live. I had no idea. Yeah, you yeah. really couldn't wow. see them very well there in the background. Yeah. Right. We, we, we had to show still photos because of we yeah. Can't, yeah. copyright right. issues yeah. and things like that. <laughs> um, but so they were there behind her, though. Yes. That's and so we exciting. saw on Instagram, too. Like Dennis, who we just interviewed a couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago, was yeah. like right there on the field. So great. And posting his pictures. It was really wow. cool to see Charlotte have their own little face there. Yeah. So And yeah. also the halftime half show. performance we're talking was about. amazing. Oh, my goodness. So pop an R&B icon. I mean, Usher, he, he did his thing out there. He took the stage at Super Bowl 58's halftime show. He brought back a bunch of his greatest hits with the help of a few guests. Mm -hmm. So singer-songwriter Alicia Keys was there. Yeah. She was the first one to be introduced. Keys joined Usher, of course, for that collab for My Boo. But she wasn't the only one. So Usher went on to bring out a couple more friends to finish off the night. That was Ludacris, Lil Jon, singer Her. Usher's performance also, as far as records here, was one of the longest Super Bowl performances closing in at around 15 minutes he long. He packed a lot in It, it didn't feel minutes. like that at all. When it was over, yeah. I was like, oh, oh, it's over already? Yes, we yeah. all were. We yeah. needed more. We the, needed more. The production, that was phenomenal. Stellar. But especially when it first yeah. started and yeah. the acrobats were like oh, frozen and you're like, it, oh it my gosh. Vegas, they're... But they were in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was a very Vegas yeah. theme. TV. And the roller skating. And the roller skates. The roller when they came out on roller skates, I was like. In yeah, addition to do does. all that while you sing and while, I mean. Yes. I do it. Yeah. Um, uh, Joy chiming in the national anthem. Yeah. Reba. Reba she did. did a great job. Didn't she, she did. She did great. Yes. But which, by the way, we, we've got to stop this. Love to Whitney. But everybody, anytime anybody sings it since Whitney Houston did it. 15 years ago. Everybody's oh. like, oh, she's no Whitney. No, folks, she's yeah, not. There's, only there, one. there's <laughs> never going to be another Whitney. <laughs> Let people yeah. do it. Let people do it. Put their, like, there's many talented people up there. Um, yeah. I feel like that, but Whitney, that like, perform really Whitney's right. performance is like, for everyone. Her. Like, I, I thought Post Malone Amazing. was rather interesting. Uh, yeah. Yes. Kind of performance. Yeah. Was, My son kept saying, what's on his teeth? What is? <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh. He was like, oh, and all on his face. I was like, yep, that, those are tattoos. <laughs> oh, I'm like, how are you talking about this? Uh, <laughs> Melissa, funny you should say, favorite part was Beyonce announcing Act 2 and dropping yes. two new songs. Yeah, we have yeah. some pictures, yeah. which is so funny. This is from the Grammys, and she was none of us that. knew. She was dropping hints with that, mm -hmm. you know, yep. that hat. Always that always does. She's yeah. always being sneaky with it. But I thought that was really cool. They teased her Verizon commercial almost as much as they teased Usher himself. It was yeah, hilarious. Really. Right after the it was Usher. It a great spot. Great oh, yes, yes. Spot. And then she said, drop the music. And then <laughs> yes. her two awesome. singles yeah. were released, which we've gone and listened to them mm -hmm. now. And they're very good. Talk about I, breaking the Internet. I mean, geez, we I were mean, all looking for it. How many artists can you think of that can release R&B albums on their own and then mm -hmm. dance album, which yep. is mm -hmm. Renaissance. And, and then country. country. I, I have no country. idea she did a country and, album. And, and do oh, the, yeah. We didn't know. Wait, no, we just know. found no, out. No, 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 what I'm saying is that yeah. I, I didn't know she did country music until this was announced. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think really it's the first it. time. I don't think anybody I, yeah. knew. She yeah. has like a country... I call okay. We were talking about this a few minutes she's ago. She's from Texas. I call yeah. it yeah. country adjacent. Yeah. She's got the song "Daddy Lessons" mm -hmm. that definitely has like that twangy kind of sound yeah. to it, but it's still very much like 
an R and B with like a country yeah. hint. But she's on very it. talented. She can oh, do anything. Oh, so she, she can do anything. Yes. That's right. So. That's right. Um, who else are we talking about? Oh, well, everybody's talking about Taylor Swift well, obviously, too. Obviously, yes. Yeah. yeah. They kept showing her there with her friends, I Spice, who, Blake Lively. Who's on the left? I Spice. I Spice. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then of course all the cameras who's around them the for the big right smooch at the end. <laughs> who is it? It's funny. Um, they must have been talking about this at school because my eight-year-old daughter was like, "You know, if the Chiefs win, Travis Kelsey's going to propose." I haven't talked about any of this with my daughter. I was and like... She's not even, she's what, eight years old? <laughs> yes, so oh, everybody's okay. talking about yeah. this at school, mm -hmm. evidently. But... Um, I hope I hope for their, their sake, now that the football season's over... Uh -huh. Go take a vacation they, together, they, away from all the cameras. Go take a vacation. I hope they live be, happily ever after. Be, I do, too. <laughs> be away from the cameras for a while, and like, yeah. just... Because, I mean, they started dating right at the beginning of the football season, I mm -hmm. believe. And then, so therefore, it's been just every week, Every day. A, a, a drumbeat of, of them. And it's like, yeah. for their sake, I want them to have some normalcy. And You, you know, know, there were some Well, it's going to be hard for those two to have yes, normalcy. Were very interesting commercials. And I'm sh I want to ask you, did, there's one in particular. I want to ask you if, you if you remember seeing this one. Because it was, it was almost a shock because they're, they're very expensive. Did you see the RFK Jr. commercial? I heard about it. I, I did. did. Not see it. I, and it was using old his old the mm -hmm. commercials that his uncle ran yep. when he was running. It was really and it was old odd. jingles. Yeah, it was yeah. very interesting. But it was a ton of money. It was like seven million dollars to buy that wow. one. That one. And I think yeah. some of the Kennedys have come out sort of against it. Um, oh yeah, they they're against they, him. Yeah, yeah, they've already so, endorsed Biden yeah. for president. But he's I, a third party candidate. I don't think yeah. they were very pleased yeah. with the fact that uh, he used the material. Uh, I understand. You talked about um, the Dunkin' Donuts one too, oh, with yeah. Ben that Affleck boy, and J Lo <laughs> yes. and Tom the Brady. Dunkings. Oh, so the Dunkings. <laughs> That was a great spot. Yeah, we can't was. play any of those, can we? No, we can't. We can only talk about them. I'm also very excited. It wasn't. I, I guess it was a commercial, but it was in uh, for the new Wicked movie. Oh yes, I. That was. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That was a movie itself. Wait, yeah. I know it's going to yes. be so good. So good. Okay, we're getting some comments. Um, Joy saying, I love the national anthem. Mm -hmm. Melissa, my favorite part was Beyonce announcing Act Two, dropping two new songs. Hank saying, Halftime show was all right until the city of Atlanta showed up to save it. <laughs> the game wasn't bad either. Uh, Kimberly, my favorite part was the Chiefs won the Super Bowl in the halftime show with Usher. It was incredible. And uh, Melissa Banks chiming in uh, with Beyonce again saying she's proving all music has black roots. So very exciting. Yes. That's right. Just a star-studded show, and everybody, they showed out and they did their thing. They did. So. And by the way, we should also say the Chiefs won. Uh, we, 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 oh, yeah, did sort we say <laughs> <that>? <laughs> We sort of glossed over the fact. In that overtime. <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> far be it for me to point out the sports of, <laughs> of it. But you know, we'll say hail to, uh, hail to the Chiefs. Um, what was interesting, because I, I you know, went to bed early. I didn't watch the whole thing like you did, Larry. But I, I DVR'd it, and I fast-forwarded to the end to watch the very end of the game. And oh. they had, like, SpongeBob and his companion yes. doing play-by-play. Yeah. Play Nickelodeon. Plays. Those Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a whole, the whole presentation themselves. Through the whole you thing. Watch, you Michelangelo watched, on you the field. You could actually watch the Super Bowl on Nickelodeon. It, oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Well, they With that, that cartoon thing some years mm -hmm. ago. That yeah, it was all cartoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had, had the Ninja live. Turtles yeah. on the field. Yeah. The sliming they at the end. Mm -hmm. It's all there. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, they basically added well, here's, like here's Nickelodeon. My question. What are they going to do next year now? How, how do you top Vegas? Oh no. And no. Usher and all. I mean, who, whoever whoever is coming next year. Better be. Yeah. Oh, they got something to stack up yeah. to. Uh, Joe saying, I didn't like the game whatsoever, <laughs> but the national anthem was awesome. I'm with you there. <laughs> I went to sleep. The 49ers were up. I, I could sleep well. I woke up. <laughs> the Chiefs <laughs> won. But you yeah. know what? I think the, 40, the 49ers should be proud. They played a they great should. game. Oh, they yes. really played it. And it went into overtime. And I was so happy for Steve Wilkes. Yeah. yeah. So what, they kept showing up. I thought, wow, that, that's because he's a charlatan. Yep, yeah. Yep. yep. Local and guy. Should have been, should have been the coach, but mm -hmm. hey, that's yep. another. And McCaffrey. Because yeah. oh yeah, McCaffrey. Yeah, yes. obviously he had a great game. First touchdown. Outstanding. I think he got yeah. the first touchdown. Yeah. He's a beast, as Eugene he Robinson really likes was. to say. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. It was fun to watch. Alicia Keys. Yeah. Yep. Agree, Dante. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Ch chime in. Let us know what was your favorite part of the Super Bowl, and we'll see you back here tomorrow, folks. Bye.